Marvin Mims Jr. of Oklahoma now. He's a good player. Enjoyed watching him over the last couple of years. Okay, good burst in and out of breaks. They'll use him on some of those jet sweeps. There he goes. Wow, 4-3-8. Oh, yeah. uh, you see him get over the top. You go back to when Caleb Williams was there the year before. We'll see him get on top of coverage. Can I sit? Yeah, I think uh, I think he's gonna have an all right career. <laughs> you know, and and it's crazy because you just can't you can't explain what that is that you see. It's just that that natural ability to make things so easy or look so easy, um, but to still do it at at a, at a high pace and and an effortless, um, you know, kind of way to do that. Speaking of making it look effortless, Matt Landers just ran a four three nine. Right, she can make you miss. I thought he played with really good instincts. Has some contact catches as well. That's it's a real smooth, easy run right there. Well, that's his time. Excellent. Vigil standing on the 45-yard line in a peach jump sweatsuit. Need to know who that is. Is that TJ Hushmanzada? It, it looks, looks like, like it. Zada Maybe here. Darius Davis of TCU. Yeah, he's fast. Hours of Boston College. Let's see what he did. Four four that, two. That works. So my comp was Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett ran four four flat. They're there you almost go. The, so those numbers are all tracking. Exact same vertical jump as well. Bryce Ford Wheaton of West Virginia. Four three eight. Nicely done. Now we're starting to pick it up a little bit. Receiving touchdowns total this year. Total breakout. And here he is running his forty. Four four one for the guy who had Jordan Addison. USC. Four four nine. That's much better. Good for Let's him. Take a break here on our comp. Food. I feel like these young guys are not having to earn their earn their stripes here <laughs> as they're coming up through the personnel department. Addison is. You know what it's like trying to juggle up. twelve sandwiches. You'd bring me this food every ten minutes till I pass out. <laughs> then hit me every five. <laughs> <laughs> We just saw Bobo of UCLA, who did not run. We just saw. Yeah, every, I mean, every drill is going to be for the receivers because you're going to see them do everything. Anytime yes. they get a rep to catch a football is going to be a valuable. Pretty good job of closing that down. I don't think I've seen a ball on the, on the field yet, right? Have you? No, it's just a, I mean, it's just a layup line here, Rich. This I don't know. Can they track the ball over a shoulder? Maybe they haven't had to do. Uh, do it on that side of the formation. And real quick, DJ, people will say, well, why do they do that? Because they're playing so fast on offense. They don't want people. Both from Alabama. Grant Dubois' fascinating story. Didn't play a snap of football between November of 2019 to 21. Went to Miles College, canceled their season due to COVID. And he's about to. Forward, they're going to be more quarterback uh, centric in terms of what you're going to see and evaluate. Jamie Erdahl. That's it. Good Rich, ball. you're seeing Louisville quarterback. But as you know, as you noted, seeing if they can track it. They just want to see if the eyes are going to be disrupted during the route because you have to locate it, make sure you're still running. Someone jog. Middle of the field is Stetson Bennett. Same way. Always opening. Josh Downs. First quarter, a lot more comfortable for the most part, just staying right down that line and running. I thought the DBs, you see them about three quarter speed, half speed, these wideouts like Zay Flowers. The DJ is a right through. Here's Hyatt. Yeah, the thing with Hyatt's going to be, you know, the full route tree. Can you can you use him on all the underneath routes? And when you have to, as a, D, as a DB, you never are in a straight line. You're always zigzagging, chasing guys. Hard <laughs> to stay in a straight line for a gauntlet drill. Yeah, you're going to defend the DBs, Charles. Death taxes and CD standing up for the DBs. Was it? Was that what I was doing? Did I, did I... Great gauntlet. It's Princeton, wasn't it? It was. Yeshivas. Yeah. Jarrett. Get one from Cunningham, and off they go. Levis, Cunningham, see ya. Out the gate, Elijah Higgins. Keep things in the state of Kentucky there to start things off with the rivals. Douglas. Yeah, and Douglas, we eat somebody that plays inside and outside. Lots of lots of slot verticals. We talked about that real quick. He's elusive after the catch, over 1,000 yards this year. As Josh Downs puts together. 
Xavier Hutchinson should be pretty good at this. He's a smooth receiver. Nice job. That was very Finish nice. it up. There you go. You know, that's not the gauntlet drill, but that, that throw and catch for the touchdown in the Super Bowl between Hertz and Brown was spectacular. Stupendous. Spectacular. There's Bobo. DJ, Jake Bobo. <laughs> That reminds me of a story that Paul Taglibu once told me about Parcells. Yeah. I'll just tell it real quick here as we watch this gauntlet here. Pirates Boutet? That's correct. Yeah, I, Pirates Boutet. That's number two for you. Got a couple more in the shoot. two more. You get two more. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm on number three. Stay tuned. I got seven more. <laughs> it's premeditated. That's great. So, stay tuned. I got more. Oh, there's more where that came from. Yes. Rich put the boo in Boutte. That's what I got. This is Zay Flowers. This is something he should be excellent at with his change of direction quickness. Look at that off the line. Whoop. A little stumble there, but you can see the quickness. Again, and, uh, ooh, nice. Talking to a, to a play caller in the NFL. We we're talking about. So we're on the field now for the second group of quarterbacks and wide receivers and the chicken scratch this morning i apologize for my penmanship oh, but that's i slept in <laughs> so we're seeing we some some different wide outs out here as well that we didn't get a chance to see run we saw puka nakua from byu who's uh, one of my favorite mid-round guys staying healthy every single year at byu some ding some injury we had the same thing at the senior bowl having a great week gets hurt they did good play the ball game so we'll see how all that goes but all these years ago good call I, I i teased it rich before the break of what it would cost and what you could get if you're the bears in this draft okay you want to trade let's go let's just take the team like the carolina Pan panthers who picked ninth overall you would get the ninth pick you would get their second round pick which is pick 39 you would get their first round pick in 20 Here's Jackson Smith and Jigba, who had a remarkable Rose Bowl game. In slot, and that's where he'll spend the majority of his time. Here he is in the gauntlet. You see the tracer right down the line. That's what you want to see right there. Ocean full of rowboats. <laughs> that's a great call. Really not touching the grass much, is he? Just glides oh. over it. Injury for him. Played just three games this past season, and he told us this week 100% health-wise. Now, he felt 100% about two weeks ago, but didn't get enough reps in the 40. But